Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about three different players and it is going to be revolving around Jordi Alba, Samuel Umtiti and Sergi Roberto. Three players who have been highly talked about in the past few hours and that is because Barcelona, Joan Laporta, Mateo Alemán, they do want to renegotiate their contracts or let go of a specific player. And now that we know that there are eight days remaining within this transfer window, Barcelona is going to have to move fast and their main goal as of now is to lower the salaries of many of these players. But before we go into those topics, I do want to talk about the OneFootball app. The OneFootball app is considered as the best football app you could find in the app store. If you want to follow a specific player, a specific team, or your national team, that is going to be all compact within one app, which is again, the OneFootball app. And if you also want to get up to date on any transfer related news, the OneFootball app will be there to inform you immediately. The only thing that you do have to do is go into the link in my description box you would be able to click the link. It'll take you straight to the app store. Once you're in the app store, you can download it. And then after that, once you are in the app, you can follow whatever team or player you do desire. And then you will be all set and done from there. But now let's get back into the videos. And so we are first going to be talking about Jordi Alba. And we do have some breaking and good news regarding this player. Because after Gerard Piquet, after seeing how Piquet has lowered his salary to the point where Memphis Depay and Eric Garcia can be registered to play within La Liga, the next player that has agreed to lower his salary has been Jordi Alba. It says here, according to Sique Rodriguez, that Jordi Alba has reached an agreement with the club over a salary reduction. His wages will not only be reduced, but it is going to be spread out throughout these next three to four years. It has not been signed yet, but there has been an agreement by all parties. His salary is going to be reduced around 25%. The agreement is 100% total, which basically means that now that we have Jordi Alba reducing his salary to 25%, he will be earning around the range ranges of 7 to 8 million euros. So he is the second captain to be leading the way in terms of reducing your salary. His current contract does end in 2024. So when it does come to his salary being spread out throughout these next three to four years, it basically means that the majority of the money that he is going to be earning in 2021 and 2022, the majority of those funds will be placed and paid in the year of 2023 and 2024. That is just an idea on how spreading out the payments does work. Because because right now the goal that Barcelona wants to do is to have more room to breathe within these next two years. They want to be more flexible within these next two years in order to make the transfers that they do want to make. And then by that time in 2023 or 2024, Barcelona is going to be much more financially stronger and pay the missing amount that is going to be originally owed in these next two years. So an official announcement will be coming out soon, coming from the club. It could come out on Twitter and on Instagram. So whatever does happen regarding Jordi Alba's agreement, in terms of his salary reduction with Barcelona, we are going to be talking about it here in this YouTube channel. Now let's move on towards Samuel Umtiti. Now this is going to be a very tough topic to speak on because many of us did expect Samuel Umtiti to leave Barcelona. As a matter of fact, he was one of the first ones that was expected to leave this club as soon as possible. But now we are getting the complete opposite when it comes to Umtiti's transfer because it says here, according to Marca, Umtiti wants to stay at Barcelona despite being presented with many other offers on the table. And this is staggering to hear because Barcelona gave Samuel Umtiti the opportunity to leave for free, to go to a club wherever he does desire. There has been drama in Barcelona because there has been people saying, how do you feel about Barcelona treating you in this way? So all of these factors coming into play, many of us did assume that this player was going to come into a conclusion that he is going to be asking for a transfer out to leave Barcelona because it was very clear that he was no longer wanted at this football club inside of the Camp Nou and outside of the Camp Nou. But what is the reason on why Umtiti rejected the offers? Well, that is because Umtiti does have preferences on where he does want to go. Whichever club he does desire to go to, that club needs to be playing Champions League football. And that club also has to pay what he is being paid as of now with Barcelona, which is around 12 million euros per season. And as of now, no club is willing to pay that amount towards a player like Samuel Umtiti. Or even if that club is willing to pay that amount, maybe that club is not in Champions League football consistently. And that is why Samuel Umtiti has rejected many of these offers that was placed on the table. And Barcelona have been looking for other possibilities. Like it says here, according to the exact same source, that there has been club executives who has discussed the possibility of unilaterally terminating Umtiti's contract. But they have found out that it is very complicated since it 
it could have brought some serious consequences towards the club on a legal level, which basically means that Barcelona would have to cover the loss and damages if they were to terminate the contract of Samuel Umtiti, maybe pay the remaining amount of what he originally supposed to be owed in these next three years. And whatever that total amount may be for the next three years of Umtiti's contract, that total amount would have to be paid up front and within these next eight days. And Barcelona cannot do that. That is almost impossible. And then we do have here, according to Sique Rodriguez, that Umtiti has already informed towards Barcelona that he does want to stay. He's not interested in any other offer. And Barcelona are not surprised. They expected this operation to be the most complicated. So as things currently do stand, everything does indicate that Umtiti will continue with Barcelona. I do not see Umtiti being prioritized in this football club because Ronald Koeman does prefer other center backs like Gerard Piquet, Eric Garcia, Ronald Araujo, and Minguesa. Many are going to be saying Minguesa can play as right back, but I do not think so. Minguesa will be in that center back combination and choices alongside Araujo, Garcia, and Piquet. It is so clear that Koeman wants to use Dest and Emerson in the right back position. That is the reason on why Sergio Roberto moved towards the midfield. He wants to use these two players, Emerson and Dest, in the right back position, which means that Minguesa is only going to be playing in that center back position, which does push out other players like Lenglet and Samuel Umtiti. And so in the end, his contract is going to be ending in the summer of 2023. I do believe that within these next transfer windows, the winter transfer window and the summer transfer window of 2022, Barcelona and Umtiti are going to be doing everything in their power to work on an exit and to find a conclusion. And now moving on towards the last topic of today, and we are going to be talking about Sergi, Roberto and Busquets. So after seeing how Alba has agreed on reducing his salary and Gerard Piquet has reduced his salary, now many of us are waiting on Sergio Roberto and Sergio Busquets. And so it says here, according to Ferran Martinez, that there is work being done in the club regarding Roberto's two-year renewal, a contract in which he'll earn from a lower salary, and Sergio Roberto is open towards accepting the latest proposal. As for Busquets, his adjustments will be exactly like Jordi Alba. There will be a meeting in the coming few days within this week. And just to go into further detail regarding Sergio Roberto's contract, it does say here that he would earn a lower fixed salary with performance-related variables. And so you can see that there is a theme going on around here when it comes to renewals. Many of these renewals or brand new contracts that are being negotiated with these players in the summer, many of these actually have performance-based variables, which basically means that Barcelona would only pay a good amount and a good wage towards these players if they bring the results required in order for Barcelona to succeed in this season, right? You get what you put out. That is the theme that Joan Laporta and Mateo Lamán do want to place within these contracts. It is performance-based variables, and that is only going to be adding more enthusiasm for these players to deliver, to do well, because if you do well, you bring the results, you become a better player. When you become a better player, you're also going to be earning much more money yearly. And so it does really work out. And so when it comes to Busquets and Sergio Roberto and the renewals with FC Barcelona, it has yet to be agreed, but it is expected that these two players will be doing everything in their power to help this football club in order for this football club to move forward. But that is going to be wrapping up today's Barcelona Daily News. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.